Welcome fans and collectors. This is Marvel and DC 379 with another review and today we'll be looking at DC Multiverse Wonder Woman and this is the New 52 version. Now let's take a look at the packaging. Collect and connect Lex Luthor. Warning, choking hazard, small parts now for children under 3 years old. 3 and up, Wonder Woman and Wonder Woman in different languages. Here's the DC logo. Here's that beautiful artwork of Wonder Woman. And here she is in the packaging. She is kind of bursting out of the plastic mold. But oh well, I don't keep my figures in box anyway. DC again. Multiverse. Mattel. Here's the side. Here's the other side. Here's the top. And here's the back. And here's a quick read up. Wonder Woman. The Amazon princess seeks to discover the secret of her true origin, who deceived her, and why. So here's the Collect and Connect figure of Lex Luthor, and here's the available figures in the wave. So that's about it for packaging, now let's get into the figure. And here is Wonder Woman out of packaging. So this is the DC Rebirth version of Wonder Woman. And as you can see, there's clearly inspiration from the DC Extended Universe films. This costume is obviously inspired by the Wonder Woman costume design worn by Gal Gadot. And I just love that. A perfect blend of comic book and live action film. Which is why this is my favorite Wonder Woman design. So, enough of that, let's get into the figure. And as I said, this is based on the movie version, so there's a lot of good sculpting and detail. The gold here, the silver for her wristband, and there's an armband with nice, tiny little details. The gold around her skirt looks really nice, and as you can see, there's some worn out detail giving it that idea that she's been through a lot of battles. And here's her boots with that awesome gold detail again. There's a lot of gold, but it's nice. It's not that excessive gaudy kind of gold. Now let's take a look at the head sculpt. I think this is one of the better Wonder Woman head sculpts because Wonder Woman figures, they're usually a lot of hit and miss ones. This one, I think, is decent. For her hair, there's a bit of blue for that shading effect. And her tiara with that red star and that gold just looks nice. And her facial expression kind of looks fierce, like she's ready to go into battle. And the red on the lips just looks nice. There is a bit of a tiny black dot where her chin and mouth is. I don't know if that's intentional, maybe to look like a mole. I don't think it is, but still a decent head sculpt. Now for articulation, she does have a ball jointed head, but her head can't go up, mostly because of her hair sculpt. Unfortunate, but understandable. It can go down just very little, left and right, hinge shoulder so it can go all the way, hinge elbow, Hinged wrists, ball jointed torso, ball jointed legs, thigh swivel, double hinge knees, and hinge ankles. Really good standard articulation for 6 inch action figures. Now for accessories, she does come with the collect and connect pieces for Lex Luthor, obviously. She has two different lassos. This lasso is meant for display. There is a hook on the right side of her hip, so you can just hook it on. And that just looks nice. Or, if you want, there is an in-use lasso. So she can actually hold it, which brings up the next accessory. She does have an alternate hand. This one is the closed fist. This is the open gripping hand. Just swap it out. 
and plug in the gripping fist. So she can use her lasso. Like so. So you can have Wonder Woman use her iconic lasso either for a play or display. Last and definitely not the least is her sword, which has nice detail around the hilt and it's a nice red and gold, which matches her uniform. And she can hold it just nicely. Although I did wish she did come with her shield, but I think this is just fine. However, with this sword, it did come warped. And I know you must be thinking, I could easily use the hot water trick or the hair dryer trick, but this is a harder plastic, so this will be much more difficult to fix. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It happens. So, I'll try to find a way to strain this out. It's harder since it's harder plastic, but I'll find a way to flatten it out. Okay, so now let's get into size comparisons. Here she is next to DC Universe Classics Superman and DC Universe Classics Batman. And here they are, the DC Trinity. And they look absolutely fantastic together. In terms of height, she is a little bit tall, but I think it's mostly because the height of her hair. But otherwise, they look fantastic together. And here is Wonder Woman with my other DC female figures, Huntress, Suicide Squad, Katana, and DC Universe Classic Supergirl from the Kryptonite Chaos 2-pack. And as you can see, she is taller than all three of the other female figures, but they all still look fantastic together. So my final thoughts, this is a decent figure for what you get. Good articulation, detail, sculpt. A little disappointing that she doesn't have a lot of head articulation, but it's mostly because of her hair sculpt, which is understandable. I love for her to have a shield, but that's more of a personal thing rather than an actual critique. And if you're a big Wonder Woman fan, love this design, or just a big DC fan in general, I do recommend picking this up for a good price. I definitely picked her up for a good price. I think I picked her up for 11 or $19. I don't remember, but either way, still a reasonable price for what you get. So this has been it for my review. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.